Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of the Crazy Town Podcast. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the explosive Jonas. We are TNT D-I-N-O M-I-G-H-T. You are TNT D-I-N-O. <laughs> I've never said it. I can't think it fall like you. <laughs> it's pretty good, though. Try yeah. it. Give it a shot. Yeah, should I? Well, thank you so much for joining me, TNT. And thank you for joining me, Aww. TNT. We're the... <laughs> We're, we're the two TNTs. Oh, and, I like that. And thank all <laughs> TNT Jonamite, TNT Dynamite. All right. Thank you, everybody, for joining us today on the Crazy Town Podcast. Please make sure to uh, like and subscribe on our YouTube channel. It's Crazy Town Media on YouTube. And uh, if you don't want to watch us there, which you should, um, you can just you, follow us on Spotify, iTunes. Or you could come and hang out with your boy TNT oh, God, Dynamite on Twitch. TNT, D I N O M I G H T underscore crazy town twitch.tv come and hang out with me every day at 9 a.m central all right mainly weekdays i was on this morning <laughs> <laughs> you say that but you, I can't, know. you can't stop me from playing video games. i'm gonna come in there and turn your xbox will, off I will i'm gonna, shoot I'm, you I'm gonna your hide sleep. your power cord <laughs> it's not like there's like about three of them in the house i would have to hide all three power cords <laughs> i will hang you from the rafters wow wow we got the Is that rope. a hate crime no, it's not a hate crime. Well, it's a hate be, crime for you to touch my I was Xbox. Say you'd be, I said you'd be hating me while you did it. <laughs> yeah. Well, you deserve it. Wow. Touch well, a grown man's Xbox. You have told me that you have a good story, and that I, I'm going to let you start oh, it Oh, you're going to let me start yep, it, dude? For okay. Sure. I'm, I'm not even mad. Because if this goes a while, I, I'm going let to it, let it have its natural progression. <laughs> Usually, I would protest, but I'm not. I want to do this story because it's so funny. All right, cool. All right, Jonas, you're an ICP fan, right? <laughs> so, Biggest homer in the world ever. Yeah, you're a jug. You're a juggalo. <laughs> I'm a jug. Is that, is that, I, that's what's hot in the streets. You're a juggy. Yeah, juggy. A jug Where am I jug at? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, juggalettes. All right. Well, ICP, we're all familiar with them. Yes. Uh, they recently the insane clown posse. For those of you who aren't, they recently uh, Chicago-based rappers. They recently Detroit-based rappers. Detroit, <laughs> isn't that Chicago, Detroit? Yeah, they're the same city. Yes, you're right. All right, Detroit-based <laughs> rappers. They recently canceled the uh, Gathering of the Juggalos, which is their yearly big event where they get thousands of Juggalos from across the yeah, it's like across uh, the country, it's like Coachella for Juggalos. Yeah, and they do a big like festival. It's a couple days too, right? I think so. And they do wrestling yeah. and music. And we had that uh, that thing about that guy who did Juggalos for Jesus <laughs> preaching, and they Something let him like, come and do yeah. sermons and stuff. Yeah, yeah. They drink a lot of Fago. Get, yeah. I wonder how much face paint gets used at the Gathering of the Juggalos. <laughs> I would they just have lot. like five gallon drums and you just walk up and that's a lot of paint five gallons is not enough for the gathering of jugglers i would never know i've never painted my face jonas <laughs> why don't you tell us about your experience oh nope <laughs> <laughs> so anyway they released a statement saying that they uh they felt it was necessary to cancel the gathering because they could not endanger not just not even one juggalo life and that was kind of stand up oh that's nice well, in other news, they've also, uh, they were appearing on Cameo for a while. Oh, were they? Yeah. Oh, dude, I should have got you a, a Cameo. <laughs> it, was, it was relatively expensive to get them. I'm not sure the price that they were charging on Cameo, but they were not happy about the fact that Cameo takes 25% of the profit. Oh, wow, that's really a do. lot. It is a lot. But it also provides a venue for the the user to easily oh, monetize. Yeah, the, the, basically, just sitting in your home saying oh, "Happy yeah. Birthday, Karen." Well, yeah, dude, it allows like the average layman to like reach out to these celebrities and be like, "Hey, can you give my mom a birthday wish?" And they're like, "Yeah, sure." And they just sit at their house and go, "Happy Birthday, Mom!" Yep, and, and give me my fifty dollars. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So they actually made their own site. <laughs> um. I'm not sure the name of it at all, but they made their own site where they'll do things they say from asking a girl out if you're too nervous to ask her out or threaten Facebook bullies. <laughs> wow. <laughs> now, they said that they were charging $75 per juggalo. I mean, what Violent J or Shaggy 2 Dope you could get for $75. Oh, so it's like $150 for the combo. $175 for both of them. But on the website, it actually says like $100 per clown and then $250 for, for both of them. I don't know. What do, you, clown. what do you call them? How, wait, hold on a second. <laughs> so wait, wait, wait. Performer? So like it costs like $100 to get one, like $75 for one, $75 for the other, or together it's $200. Hey, what the hell, dude? Why hey. are they charging? It's usually get a discount. Yo, time is money. Right. They, they're like, I don't even like being around this guy. If I got to yeah. be around him, you're charging me. 
And honestly, with their fan base, if they made it too cheap, they would be doing it all day. Well, yeah, but that's a dude. They if I could make one day. minute videos for two hundred dollars, I would make them all day long. They're making so yeah, much that's, money. That's why they're doing it this way. <laughs> <laughs> that's because they're doing it anyway. So that was interesting. They're of philanthropists. Philanthropists? No, they're. Entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs, Jonas. Yeah, there we go. It's early, man. We just woke up. At least I know I did just a little while ago. They've also released their own line of alcoholic beverages. Oh, no. I thought you were going to say pocket pussies. Jonas, can you not wait to get your hand on a can of ICP's own whoop dub? <laughs> <laughs> Whoop dub beer, Jonas. <laughs> <laughs> Whoop dub? Jonas, Whoop dub beer is the perfect marriage of alcoholic beer and Fago. mixed with fruity flavors, Jonas. Oh my God, they did it. With such flavors of punk slap, <laughs> blue balls, <laughs> and net and whip. <laughs> I told you you were going to fucking love this store. I told you we were going to fucking love this. You can say fucking Ned and what? <laughs> Ned and Wep. I don't know, Joe. I don't know. Wait. It's wait. Hold Ned on Wep. a second. For those of you who don't know, because I'm sure most of you don't, they refer to pussy as Ned and. It's Ned and Wep. So Ned and Wep flavored drink? Yes, Jonas. Punk slap, blue balls, and net and whip are some of their flavors. Jonas, but they, 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 hold on. Hold on. Okay, hold there's on. more. Each can, Jonas, oh God. comes with its own edible glitter. <laughs> edible glitter? Mixed into the beverage for you. Jo come on. Oh, so your tongue's all glittery. Jonas, what the fuck? Where's your life been? <laughs> Where you haven't had a blue Budweiser mixed with cheap blue raspberry and edible glitter. Dude, I'm, I'm, I'm buying you some of this. <laughs> I'm Ned gonna, and Web. I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy you some Ned and Web. Yo, fam, if you find some Ned and Web, <laughs> we should definitely drink it for the channel. Just give a quick, like, we can just do a video while we're drinking our Ned and Get webs. one of each. <laughs> yeah, get uh, some blue balls. Yeah, maybe we should get one can and pour them into glass. Well, we got to drink it out of the container. So, yeah, we would need six total. Hey, yo, it's coming to a store near you. Just so you know, I know it's in LA currently. I have not seen this, but I, uh, I, haven't been I know someone in LA. I haven't been around. He would gladly ship it to us. Hey, man, get it. Get it done. Get her done. I'll be like, listen, you got to go find me some Ned and Some Web. whoop dub. Some whoop dub Ned and Web? <laughs> <laughs> this sounds like it's from another country. <laughs> Yo, I found the story. I was like, I had to bring it to you, man. Oh, uh, dude, it's but, good. Uh, you know, big, big shot. Oh, yeah, by the way, the uh, they're getting like the average review for these beverages is less than like a star. Oh my god. Most of them are like half stars saying that there's a combination of like I said cheap Bud Light and like blue raspberry. It's like he took a blue raspberry chili willy and like poured yeah. it into like PBR. It's, it's just like Kool-Aid and beer but it kind of fits into that same like uh, Fago-ish. Nah, not Fago but like Four Loco which is like just a can of like cheap alcohol and like Kool-Aid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like watermelon like yeah. Uh, yeah, dude. Um, whoop dub. What do you think would be the coolest thing that we could get ICP? Could we? Could will we pay ICP? I'm to not paying ICP to do anything, Jonas. I mask out a girl for you. No, because you know it's free for me not to interact with ICP, and I think I'm going to take that route. <laughs> Dude, I just, that sounds like the preferred route. I like. I kind of want to just do. I something. know you do. No, I just want like, just like pay to have them like. Mm -hmm. Read like the ingredients on a riceroni box. <laughs> I'm not gonna ask what benefits you get out of this. I'm sure I get none. Dude. <laughs> I'm gonna use my stimulus check. <laughs> hey man, that's stimulating the economy, <laughs> right? Entrepreneurs, remember, dude, dude. Yo, I'm telling you, whoop dub, whoop dub, w o o p d u b, punk slap, fam. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get it. That, that's that's basically all I got. I don't man. know why they didn't come out with neck bone chop. No, net and wet, man. I don't know how. how <laughs> the thing is, is that in, in that that community, that's like it's a, it's a dirty word, kind of. What net netting? Oh yeah, yeah. It's kind of a dirty word, and they're just like, fuck it, we're gonna put it on the can. I wonder. That's like, gonna be okay. the highest selling one. You know it, dude. I wonder if like at the gathering of the juggalos, people say. Come on, girl. Let me get in that net. And I guarantee you that has been said. And I guarantee you that she allowed it at one point in time. 
<laughs> Somebody that it was said to said okay. Mm. Dude. If you never mind, I'm, <laughs> I was gonna say, dude. If you ever look up juggalo porn, it exists. What? It exists. There's like some shit that goes down at the gathering where girls got the boobs out, man. And ICP has denied the shit for years. Oh, about, that's like big orgies up there? Yeah, about the raw dog line that happened. Oh, so it was like a girl who just like let all the dudes come up and uh yeah. Like all like she just let a bunch of dudes come up without condoms have sex yeah. with her? Yeah. And look, man, the shit happened. It happened once. It don't happen all the time, but I know for sure it happened once. Because they were denying it and there was proof that was presented to my eyes through the media. It happened. Oh, that's really gross. Man, I mean, but that kind of stuff happens. I mean, like, it's like, it's no different than a gangbang, except for, like, there's no protection. That's the part that's, like... On average, Jonas, I think that more than 10 gangbangs happen in a day in this country. I'm putting it out there. Even during the situation? Maybe the number has dwindled now, but in normality, I still think that... Even during the situation, I still think at least one gangbang happens a day. <laughs> like whether, how many, it be, whether it be a bunch of women on one dude or a bunch of dudes. Now, on how one. many? Uh, how many constitute a gangbang? Like how many? Like one person on how many people? I would have to say at least at least two to three. Two that, to three. Well, uh, I would say I would say three. five. Okay. Because I mean, here's why. We're, are we gonna do this conversation again? <laughs> no. But doing? here's why. Two on one is a threesome. Three on one is a foursome. What? Five on one becomes group sex orgy gangbang. I'm not buying the four. It's not the same. Con it's not the same conversation we had. We we had a big. We had to draw graphics. Oh my god! That was a great conversation. It was we should a good have recorded. Conversation. But no, I would think it has to be at least. I think it's a foursome. Four have, on one. I think if you have, a, I think it's a foursome only if you have twos. Twos. But if there's just three chicks and me, I'm getting gangbanged. Okay. I'll, I'll take that. I'll and take that. if there's just one chick and a bunch of dudes, she getting gangbanged. Okay. So, but yeah, dude, like, yeah, I agree. I think so. I think there's a lot of people out there having group sex all the time. Yeah. So, I mean, even during a situation, I'm I'm sure of it. Rich, yeah. Well, rich I'm sure there's some, a house out there somewhere where four people live in it and they all fuck. Rich. And... Well, no, I'm and thinking boom. just rich people can get whatever they want. Oh, like that's, that's like that line on uh, on um, Office Space. He's like, what would you do with a million dollars? Like two chicks at the same time. He's like, if I had a million dollars, I figure I could make that happen. <laughs> that was like his dream. But that goes to that point. Yeah, if you're rich, you can get whatever you want. I'm going to tell you right now that getting gang banged ain't, ain't all it's cut up. It's there. a lot of pressure. <laughs> it's a lot of pressure. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of... Taking care of three people at once. Yeah, man. I don't even like to jack myself off. <laughs> <laughs> you only got two hands. What yeah. you mean? Yeah, exactly. If there's three women and two hands, I mean. Yeah, that's just a lot. <laughs> like, leave my dick alone, lady. <laughs> leave my dick alone, lady. <laughs> wow. I guess I've never. You got? You got anything? Nope. No stories. That's it. That's all. No, of course I got a story. Would we'll get to it. All right. So, TNT. <clears throat> Do you like pets? Uh, whoa. Are we, you really gonna, you know this is a sore spot for me. <laughs> I just, talked to this motherfucker the other day. You, you cannot tangent on my story. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> well, you're the one who said, you asked the question. Uh, that's fair, let's you go. You started it. Like, it's like, I, I have a defense now. Go ahead. I, I talked to this motherfucker the other day, and he tells me, you know what, TNT? I've been thinking about getting a cat. Yep. I was like, oh, hell yeah, dude. That's actually a cool idea. You should get a cat. He was like, yeah. I don't know where we put the litter box. And I was like, oh, we could probably put it over here. We discussed, like, the litter box. And we were like, all right, that's pretty cool. <laughs> and I'm thinking, oh, yo, this guy's about to get a cat. I start sending him information via text about, like, some shelters that are around. And then he comes to me a couple days later and he dashes my hopes and dreams <laughs> along the, the rocks and he says that he has no intention on getting a cat. <laughs> it's like you saying you think about going back to school. 
Same difference. I've never said that. Yeah, you have. Uh, maybe, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't, we're not talking about me. We're talking about you. Uh, yeah, I, I, know, I, you. I hold you to higher standards <laughs> than I hold myself. It's fair. I'm a piece of trash. I'm garbage. <laughs> we all know I'm a piece of shit. We talked about it on this podcast numerous Either times. Either way. That's why it's a sore spot because Jonas told me he was going to get a cat and <laughs> I got all my hopes up and then he yeah, turned out to be like, a big liar. I was like, wait till my cat comes in and sits on your lap and he's like, I know, I can't wait. And then I'm like, ha ha, there won't be one. Yeah, but instead you're a liar and a coward. And <laughs> <laughs> We'll add that to the list. <laughs> Liar, coward, trash, garbage, piece of shit. Jonas. <laughs> Look, put me on Urban Dictionary. Every time we add a new one, we'll just add to the definition. So, there was a man. Yeah. His name is Bart Jansen. Oh, hell yeah. He Big is Bart. 37 years old. Bartholomew. And he's from the Netherlands. Oh, Bartholomew. Yeah, then. He had a cat. His well, cat's name was Orville. You know I was going to ask you the goddamn cat's <laughs> name. <laughs> His cat's name was Orville. That is fucking adorable, too. It is. And unfortunately, Orville, Orville got hit by a car and died. Taxi? So, Ernie? as any person would do when their cat is, is dead, he mm. was distraught. Oh, yeah, I could see he, uh, he So he put it in his freezer. He put the cat, the dead cat in his freezer. He did. Okay. For six months, that oh. cat sat in his freezer he while killed. he was pondering, what do I do with Orville? Bury it? What do I do with Orville? How, why would, I mean. Throw it away? You could, <laughs> you could bury it. You could throw it you away. You could throw it away. What he chose to do was. Eat it? He did have it stuffed. Okay. He did it. have it mounted. Okay, fair. And. He also attached propellers to its limbs. He turned it into a cat drone. That is what I was out here laughing about. What? And there the was a fucking fuck? video. He turned his fucking cat into a drone. And it, he has video of it flying, and he has a fucking camera on its face. So you see this thing flying around in the cat's face. What? He said he got the idea from what? the Wright brothers. What? Right. So he has a cat drone. He keeps it in a, in a little box. He pulls it out. It has four propellers what? attached to it, and it, it flies. What? It gets better. What? N after he did this, he said, well, the world is my oyster. What can I do? He has also made a shark jet. Yeah, oh, come on, dude. He has made a... What do you mean a shark jet? What is, it is what's a, a shark? What is that? Because, like, I'm thinking this, like, maybe you got a paint like job. A small, some decals. It's a small airplane. And imagine where, like, the body of the plane is. It's a shark. A taxidermed shark. Like a whole shark? Like yeah, a big like, shark? It's all in the video I'm going to send you after we record this, it's probably two to three foot long. Oh, a baby shark. Baby shark. And he also has made a, a rat copter. What the fuck is wrong with this? Here's guy? He, dude, these next two are the best. A rat copter. He made a fucking ostrich copter. And in this video, dude, I'm gonna send you it. It is the funniest looking shit when it when its feathers start fucking flying. And he had also made one last thing he calls What in the fuck? He calls <laughs> He happening? calls it Das Boot. It is a badger submarine. <laughs> Why, dude? What possesses people to, like, use animal meat for, like, <laughs> artwork and shit? Dude, I just don't get it. Dude, I just don't, it's like, so I, I get the point where he was like, okay, my cat died. I put it in the freezer. I don't know what I want to do with it. I, like, are no. You not, or, I didn't or get, he lost like, me there. Or maybe he's like, I want to bury it. It's winter. The ground's hard. I'll put it in the freezer until I can bury it. It's the Netherlands, so, yeah. I cold. could see that, maybe. Yeah. So then he gets it, and then he's just like, you know, it just doesn't seem right to bury Orville. What can I do with him? Yo. I can get him taxidermed, but yeah. I love drones. Maybe no. I can. No. See, dude, you can't be doing that. If you start doing that, you got a problem. <laughs> really? Like, were people making fun of him in the comments or something? Uh, I don't know, but you know what? You want to know what else it says he's working on? I mean, sure. A cowcopter no, that a person can get inside. Where the fuck is he? Who is supplying him <laughs> with the materials? <laughs> Who's supplying him with these carcasses, dude? Dude, I don't know. Who? I mean, it sounds like he's a brilliant engineer. Well, well I would think, yeah. It, I, honestly, it does sound like he's a brilliant, and he might even have like a an affinity for taxidermy. I, I, I don't know if he's doing this himself, but I don't see any taxidermists like, oh, sure, I'll just out outfit this model helicopter <laughs> with this ostrich. <laughs> I, I don't see that happening. That's just me. So, 
I mean, he sounds like he's very talented, but there is a thin line between genius and insanity. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I believe he has crossed that line. <laughs> I'm putting it out there. Like, because, like, okay, do you think that if he did this for other people, that other people would do it? Like, if they were like, yeah, <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> you could, like, make a remote, turn your cat into a remote control car and just yeah. drive around the house. You know, the crazy thing about the internet, Jonas, is that if you find anything about yourself that you just think is just insane and there can't possibly be another person that does it. There's a whole community that does it. Law fucking averages, man. Yeah, at, at 8 billion people, there's an app. Like, you ain't the only one that likes yeah. it. I mean, yeah. you could, like, hammer and nails into your foot. And I guarantee you find someone else online that likes hammer and nails into Stop. their feet. <laughs> Make me think of the Pain Olympics. Have you ever seen that? No. Don't. <laughs> Don't. Don't. Wow. See, and I feel like I'm implanted it in your head. Now you're going to <laughs> don't. Don't. It's like one of those like don't. wish I it's like can't wish I can't be unseen. Yeah, dude. You know how long I, I avoided two girls one cup? Oh, I still have never watched it. I yeah, just knew it, it. Got snuck on me, dude. It was sneaky. It was like a Rick roll. Oh, really? It's like it was like you're like, oh, a dog video? All of a sudden it <laughs> changes into that. I was like, what the What's going on? Okay. All right. So, oh my God. It was like, well, and here's the reason why away. I never watched it. When it came out, um, I hadn't heard about it yet. The uh, guy who, no, I'm not going to talk about what it is. The guy who sent me the link, uh, he had sent me all sorts of nasty stuff in the past. And just by it was being called two girls, one cup before I went and watched it, I Googled it. And read about what it was, and I was like, no thanks. Because I was like, what is this website that he wants me to go to? It sounds like it could be really fucked up. And I was, it was like, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, nope, I'm good. Now, don't need to see it. Just hearing about it is good. That's great. That's all I need to know. I can visualize. I don't need to actually see. God, Jones, I kind of just want like a blizzard right now. Just like a, <laughs> like a soft Dairy serve. Queen, a soft serve. Soft blizzard. serve, crunch, peanut on top. Ooh, Jones, I like to get peanut butter and cookie dough. Oh, mm. look at you. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> but uh, you know, those are those were today's stories because yeah, uh, man, dude, whoop, whoop dub, <laughs> whoop dub, and. Cat drones, dude. What a what a quality informational podcast we have here. Fucking whoop dub. <laughs> I'm trying to decide if I should I mean? should I name the should I put the in the title of the episode should I put whoop dub or Ned and Wop? <laughs> Ned and Wep. Ned and Wep. W H E P Jonas. All Ned, right. Ned and Wep cat drones. Yeah, no one's that. gonna know what it is though. Just put whoop dub though. Whoop dub is the name of the the product itself. Oh my Ned god. Ned and Wep is the obviously the most popular flavor because I need that in my life. Yeah, me too. So I don't know what it means, but I need it. <laughs> it's something about pussy, dude. <laughs> but that is all the time we have for today's episode of the Crazy Town Podcast. Please make sure to like and subscribe on our YouTube channel on Crazy Town Media. Oh, or uh, just subscribe or follow us on iTunes, Spotify, SoundCloud, all that, all that shit. Uh, or follow uh, follow my boy, T <laughs> your boy TNT on uh, Twitch, man. Every every morning, nine o'clock, uh, TNT Dynamite underscore Crazy Town Twitch TV. Boom. Let go. All right. But uh, for Jonas. TNT Dynamite. We will catch you on the next one. We are uh, out.